So an important thing to keep in mind in understanding income for your city is your tax rate. So when you think about taxes, there are three states that your SIMS can be in. Uh, the first state is the taxes are so incredibly low that your SIMS are happy. They want to move into your city, but they may be happy, but you're not maximizing the amount of income that's coming into your city. On the other hand, there is high taxes, and now your city is making lots of taxable income, but that's potentially short-term because your Sims, your residents, are not going to be happy. Your commercial, your industry, um, just not going to be happy. And what will happen is, over time, residents will move out of the city, your factories, your commercial locations will also be unhappy and they will shut down. A third condition, a third state, is neither un unnecessarily or overly happy or overly unhappy. There is a tax rate in which you're not causing a negative effect and you're not causing a positive effect. It's neutral. And that neutral state is a 10% tax rate for high wealth, an 11% tax rate for medium wealth, and a 12% tax rate for low wealth. Uh, many times when I am at the point where I have put down a city hall and I can set tax rate, I will set my tax rate to 10% high wealth, 11% medium, 12 low, and I won't even deal with taxes again. Yes, you can lower the taxes temporarily to get a bit of a boost in your residents coming in. Uh, if there is a particular group that you don't want to come in, you can set the taxes accordingly. Uh, but once again, if what you're wanting to do is to grow your city, make sure everybody is, is overall satisfied, this is a good tax rate to set and forget it. Um, and you're going to maximize your in income without having a unnecessarily negative impact on your residents. So just a little bit of, of information uh, in understanding taxes in SimCity. I hope this helps and good luck with your city.